Hello and thank you for joining us for today's session on Clarity Field Level Security. In this tutorial, we are going to show you how you can use groups to easily provision or remove access to select fields on your investment records. Now, those of you with Clarity Admin experience know that you can control access rights for system users and that this can be done at the instance, OBS or global level. However, these rights also tend to apply across the whole investment and do not allow you to change a user's level of access to a specific attribute. Field Level Security, or FLS, does exactly that. It provides the ability to explicitly control not only the fields that a user is able to view, but it also controls their ability to edit these fields. I'm going to start in Clarity's classic UX and we'll take you through a quick overview of each of my test users and how we have set them up in security groups. So from the modern user experience, I am going to click on my link back to basic, sorry, back to classic, which is down the bottom here. And once I'm in classic, I am going to go to administration and then groups. Now, each of my test users have been set up with a view as to how the project stage field should be managed. Many organizations have project governance teams who are responsible for stage gate reviews and the stage field is not able to be updated unless a full review has been completed by the governance team and all the required project deliverables for the current stage have been completed. So for this group, we have our PMO services group And within this group, we have our resource, our test user, Rachel Armstrong. We also have our project manager who is in the PMO project manager group. And our test resource here is Paul Martin. By the end of this session, Paul will be able to view the stage field, but he will not be able to update it. And then we also have our PMO team member group. This one contains our test resource, Tom Morris. And Tom will not even be able to view the stage field on a project record once we have completed our FLS update. Okay, now that you have an understanding of the users and their groups, I'm going to take you to the modern user experience and demo to you what each of the users are seeing currently when they view the same project record. So I will log out as my admin user. And the first one I'm going to show you is my team member or Tom Morris. So remember, we have no field level security applied. And if I go to our projects link and go into our test project, our technical pharma implementation, we can see that Tom is able to view the stage field on the project record. And if he clicks in there, he can also edit. I'll now log out as Tom and show you what our project manager currently sees before we apply our field level security. Clicking on the projects link. And again, going to our test project. And Paul, our project manager, can also see the stage field and can also edit. And then our last test resource in our PMO services group, Rachel, she is able to log in, go to her project record, and the same as our project team member and our project manager, she can view the stage field and she can edit the stage field. Okay, so now what I would like to take you through is how to actually apply your field level security. So I'm going to log back in as my admin user. And from within the Clarity new user experience, I'm going to, on the left-hand side menu, scroll all the way down to the second last icon that I have visible, which is administration. Once I click on administration, I will see a link to attributes. I'm going to click on that link. And you can see, I'm just going to show my filters here. I have applied a couple of filters. I want to look at my 
project object. And I want to look for an attribute that contains the word stage. And you can see here, this is the attribute that we are going to do our testing on. So the first thing I want to do is within the secure column, if you hover over that, you notice there is a box that can be checked. By checking the box and making the field secure, what this means now is that the field is no longer visible to any users within the system. And the reason for that is we've secured it, but at this point in time, we haven't given view access to any of our groups and we haven't given edit access to any groups yet either. So what we're going to do from here, as discussed earlier, we're happy for our project manager group to be able to view the stage field. So we're going to add that group to the access view column. So just by double clicking in the field, I'm now going to search for my PMO project manager group, check the box and add them. And then for my access edit, we've decided we are going to give our PMO services team access to edit the stage field. So just by double clicking in there and then searching, searching for PMO services and checking the box, you can now see that that has been added to the access edit field. So it's as simple as that. I've now applied my field level security. I'm actually going to now log back in as each of my test users and show you what it looks like for them. So at its most basic level, my team member, Tom Morris, when he goes to his projects, and clicks into the project record, you'll see that the stage field has now completely disappeared from his view. And this is because we've secured the field, but we haven't given any sort of edit or view access to any of the groups where Tom is a member. So the stage field is no longer visible for Tom. Now, if I log out, the next one I wanna show you is my project manager. And when I go into my project record, as my project manager, you can see the stage field is visible for Paul. However, as I'm double clicking in there, you can see it is not editable. You will also notice that this little shield icon has appeared. And if you hover over it, it will actually tell you that this field has been secured. So we've now restricted access for the project management or the PMO project manager team so that they can no longer edit the stage field. And the last resource I want to show you is my PMO services team member, Rachel. And when I go to projects whilst being logged in as Rachel, I can click on the project record and over here you can see not only is the stage field visible, it's also able to be edited. So Rachel can make those updates, but she can also see the shield symbol and she can see that this field has been secured. So there you have it, uh, an overview on how to set up field level security for resources or for groups within your Clarity new user experience. I hope you enjoyed today's session. And if you have any further questions, please reach out to your Rego contact. Thank you.